That unequalness is the problem and is at the core of the constitutional violations here, especially when there was no need for the state to get involved here. We were fine until they got involved. Now look what's happening. This is my fault. I simply reacted to try to get more time, which should be encouraged, and I got the reverse punished for that. And of course I walked through the system. I saw what was happening, as I've seen happen to countless other fathers. But I don't need to use some other father as my front man. I'm not going to hide behind my client. I'm going to be the client and the attorney and the father all rolled up in one because it is the right thing to do. Wherever this leads me, my conscience will be clear. Nelson Mandela spent a good part of his lifetime for a great cause. He got out of prison after all those years. He married and got divorced right away because he's living in a different world today. Most people are not surviving marriages today. What I'm trying to help is the vast majority of the population today. And once fathers reach their proper stature in life, in the community, and under our American laws, then I will finally be satisfied. Uh, And I hope I'll be able to see my children as soon as possible. Are you you committing the the cardinal sin of representing yourself when you are totally emotionally involved and not able to make the proper legal decisions for yourself are you placing yourself in jeopardy by representing yourself i'm currently the father trying to save my children i was represented but you know by an attorney. what an attorney is going to tell us well, uh, i know what attorney- every guy is going to say you can't go in on your own no but the attorney is also going to hand you a hefty bill that takes away from your child's upbringing right. their college education and all the things i saved for i don't need a lawyer to tell me which i did i checked with lawyers and it was unanimous every lawyer i talked to including out of well out of town their answer was unanimous you can't do anything to change this system as it's operating today without great risk right now something has to change representing myself is the only way to go about this because any lawyer who tried to represent me through this the way i would ask the lawyer who works for me to do it would probably end up in the same condition i'm in today and i don't want to put any of my other colleagues in that condition and i we've talked about it okay i'm going a path that no lawyer can take because of what's happening to me what lawyer would want to touch this with a 10-foot pole you tell me and even if you can find someone, the money it would take to do it would totally deplete my little girls of their college education. So it's the only way to address this problem the way it is now. Because the problem with the system is the system itself. And what is the system here? It's not the schools like it was in separate but equal doctrine in the 50s. It's not a privacy decision that's going on in some abortion clinic. This is the court system itself that is showing results and statistics that 85% of men are paying the child support. The court system itself is conducting the discrimination. Yeah. How do you change it? How do you take on the court system itself? Yet that's what's got to be done. So you, you've, you've said that it is a choice, and this will be my last one, I promise. Uh, it is a choice to fight the way you're fighting. You've made that choice that you're not going to accept uh, what the court says. You're going to fight, and you're going to try to make the change. Isn't the true victim here? Your two little girls, aren't they the true victim in this? They're victims of the state's greed, their incessant control over our citizens that don't need their control, not this far invasive in our lives. They are victims of the land that they live in and the laws that have imposed with no sense of logic with the legislators who impose these laws. What I'm going to do is to hopefully change the way we think about this, if nothing else. Even if I'm a complete failure in everything I do, I can assure you, people are going to think differently about this issue. And we need this discourse. When we did the meetings and we did everything, we followed the book and called them, very few people showed up. So this may be the only way to do it. But but we all are the victims. I mean, the parents are the victims here, too. Are we not human beings either? Yeah. The point is that these children deserve parents, both parents, not one. The system is designed to remove one of them, predominantly the father, and remove them from my children's lives. That's not a choice, Bill. This isn't a privacy decision. This is a decision I had to make. I was forced to make it. The other choice, if you want to talk about choices, is to walk out of my children's lives. That's happening all over the country today. Mm -hmm. They like to call them deadbeat dads. We're mass producing. We are creating deadbeat dads. These aren't fathers who want to be that, but that's and that's another slur, of course. They like to throw around. We forget about money molesting moms. We, we are taking and we are creating now slurs upon parenting. This is very much like the discrimination that occurred in the 60s with respect to African Americans, with respect to women in an earlier time. These are the same types of things. It's, it's just a different way of looking at it. So I didn't have a choice. 
I took the only choice, and that was this road that I'm on presently. I did not abandon my children, and I can't keep fighting in this kind of system after four years of every petition that was denied, 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 denied for parenting for the father, granted, 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 granted money for the mom. I'm sorry, Bill. That's not a, an equal rights courtroom. It's not what I was raised to, to believe in by my dad, who spent five years in a Nazi war camp. It's not what they trained me in law school. It's not what our Constitution stands for. And even if it's the court system itself that is creating the egregious error, much like Plessy versus Ferguson was a United States Supreme Court ruling that said blacks and whites, whites must be separate in our schools. Our Supreme Court entered that ruling. Courts can be wrong. And in this case, the courts are wrong in the way they're handling fathers and their children and mothers who then become the victims. We have so many women supporting our cause. It's amazing. It seems like we may have more women in our cause than, than men. Well, for every man that's been wrong, there's usually a woman by his side. So, or a woman uh, who understands the <laughs> system understands. and uh, knows that parenting is more important than yes. money. Uh, listen, you uh, even though you told us coming in you didn't know that we were talking about you, you admitted later on that you did. You came in knowing that this was not that I was not going to agree with you, and I give you a great deal of credit for coming in, and I, I appreciate that. So, okay, Bill. Thanks, uh, Leon Kozio. Uh, we'll take a break. Jack Moran's up next. We're done. Back tomorrow. It's uh, Keeler in the morning, ninety-two-seven. The drive. If uh, I believe this this interview will be posted a little later on on uh, Utica Daily News, portions of it anyway. Uh, that's it. We're done. I'm way over time.